striking out the stigma of HIV. Henry Vierohanga was born with HIV, but coming out publicly about his status wasn't easy. There was a big, big discrimination because I had no confidence of disclosing to my fellow students why am I taking their tabs. And th here came the reason why I used to tell them that it's my sleeping pills. Henry's family has not yet come to terms with his being open. And Henry is worried the same thing might happen to millions of school children who may be forced to take an HIV test. Henry says it takes time to be accepted by society once one's HIV status is known. And as much as he thinks more people will access treatment, he thinks HIV testing should be voluntary. For the first time we'll be like, how am I going to be in the community? How are they going to see me? I've faced it. I've tested like fellow friends of mine. Some have witnessed it like it has been like a testimony to them. In Uganda, the government is encouraging everyone to know their status. The health ministry says the suggestion to have school children tested is good, but government will not force people to test for HIV. About 1.3 million Ugandans are living with HIV and slightly over a million are on treatment. And the government hopes to have 90% people tested and on treatment by 2020, but less than 60% know their status. The health ministry says more 15 to 24 year olds are getting infected with the disease, the reason for the urgency to have more people treated. The government says young people are more vulnerable to getting HIV. It's a good idea for children above 18. Of course now they are adults, but although they may still be children, to get to know their status. But for compulsory testing, we have not yet, we don't have any law in place as regards that. For the HIV, we still really just appeal to the population. But as Henry continues to use his experience to encourage young people to fight discrimination, he's urging authorities to first cancel people before testing them. Isabel Nakiria, CGTN, Kampala.